And I'm sure you guys are wondering, why didn't you put your bezel back on yet? Because... I want to make sure this thing works first. Plug this back in. I've got a battery symbol. Um, I usually check to make sure the, the digitizer is a good digitizer. Um, with the touch function, but I know this is a good one because we pulled it off of a good unit. Okay, but so that's what I would do. I would check it first before I started putting all this other stuff in. So, here's your bezel, here's your glass, you're done, right? Everything checked good. Put your bezel on. And the only part you're going to have a little sticking point is right here in this corner, right here. This part is the antenna uh, latch for the side here. Just make sure it tucks underneath it and you're good to go. So that's in. Now you got 10 screws to put in. this device to make screws hmm. yep now look at that completed phone ready to put the back housing on just basically put that plug back in plug right into the motherboard there So you can then push down on the sides so you know the whole thing's in. See it? The whole thing's in now. Remember those three screws holding it up? I'll do is there's two clips right here this clip right here this is what holds down the um, antenna cover there's one right there and one right here I like to push it down and then slide this on first I slide it in make sure there's sometimes these bottom clips get stuck don't go in the right place okay oops had it there for a second so right now you push down right here and right here and slide it up at the same time. There, that clipped in, and that clipped in. Everything clipped in. Last but not least, whenever you're dealing with the iPhone uh, SIM trays, the hole right there, and the headphone jack hole, as long as you, they're on the same side, you're good to go. Glass is in. Look at that. Bezel's in. And then once this is charged up, we can do a full diagnostic check. But look how that's how um, a glass replacement's supposed to be. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys how a, a real glass replacement should be and how you're not going to break stuff while you get in here. But other than that, the 2G phone is pretty easy to work on once you become experienced on it. Thank you.